Hello. I don't think there's a lot of people that it will be on. Because y'all like to be on this really late. <laughs> really late for me. Let me clear up my stuff here. Is anybody there? <laughs> I usually do a post before I get on, but I didn't have time. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Let me give it a few more minutes, and if I don't get much, then... I'll have to end it. Good evening. Hello, Matt. How are you? My hair is crazy. I have to go wash it tomorrow morning. <laughs> How's everybody? I see there's nine people on here. Only Matt's gonna say hi. I've been good. I got my car, guys. Finally. Finally. So I got a RAV4 XLE and I love it. It's like just the right size for us. Nobody else fits, just our family. But it gets me from point A to point B. I was trying to get a Highlander, but it was just way too much money. Like they wanted 700, over 700 a month for the Highlander. One, because my license is brand new, brand new driver. And two, apparently cars are really expensive right now. So I had to go with the RAV4. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Elizabeth. Mr. Hero over 9,000. I don't think I've ever seen you here. Thanks, Matt. SUVs are expensive. Yep, I figured that out. <laughs> I also looked into a pilot. They also wanted almost $700 for that. And I just, it's crazy. <sighs> Hello, Carmen. Nice to see you. Hi, Melly. Should have got an Explorer decent price. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with my RAV4. <laughs> maybe later on when I got a lease as well. So maybe later on when my lease is up, I switch if it comes out cheaper to something else that's bigger. But 
for now, that's what's in my budget, and I'm okay with it. I just needed to transport me and the kids. <laughs> So I think I mentioned that I received some money in my child support account, but uh, more, more room in an explorer too, only a couple hundred a month. I don't, not in, I don't think in my area and for a brand new license, it would be the same. Because everything that I looked at was over 400 a month for me. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> I'm up super early every morning. So like I was mentioning, I received some money in the beginning of May. And I was wondering if it's um, from taxes or did they garnish his wages. But I'm guessing it's from... Taxes. I'm guessing that's whatever I got. It was his taxes. Because I haven't received anything else. And it sucks because it was like so little. And I honestly thought like I was going to get that a month. But nope. Not it. You need to call them and find out why you're not getting anything. Well, they say it's because they don't know where he's working. Like, they need his actual... The actual location and everything of where he's at in order for them to be able to garnish his wages, which is crazy that I'm the one that should be handing in that information to them instead of them actually going out there looking for these people who owe child support because it's not right. Yes, he has warrants, and yes, like his passport will be blocked if he tries to renew it, go out of the country, but he does not care about that. You can't find out from anyone who knows me, who knows him. I know they need to find out nobody. He does not speak to anybody anymore. And I found, like I said, I found his name in an article. And it said he was there. Let me see. Last November. So I thought my court date was in May. I was like, hmm, it's not so long. Maybe he's still there, but he, I don't think he is. I always search his name up because like I've said before it's super unique oh. so I just have to like write his name and put our area and things usually pop up but nope nothing Go up there and find out or send someone to check. So where I thought it was, I, the only time that I'd be able to go is when I'm out of work. And when, when I'm out of work, I'm with the kids. And I wouldn't want to take my kids to do that because I just don't want no one to see him. And I don't want to put them through that.
Yeah, I'd go up there, have someone go for me. Guess just, just me and you talking. Again, Matt. <laughs> 18 people here and nobody's talking. Come on, guys. Chime in. You're welcome to do so. We listening. <laughs> I want to speak to you guys. That's why I get on. I like doing these lives. Have any of you gone through anything like this? Child support, but you're not getting paid. Is there anybody out there? On another note, Noah is, I'm surprised they're not calling it a kindergarten graduation, but they're calling it just like a ceremony, but I don't think he'll have a cap and gown. Oh, which I'm pretty bummed out about because I love, like last year, I don't know if it was because I was pregnant and I just don't know. I feel like it was just so many emotions and I was just crying the entire time that he had his little pre-K graduation. But how is he not having a kindergarten graduation? I don't know. They're just calling it a ceremony. So we'll see. That's on Friday. And then... He's done with school. That's crazy. That's their job to find out where people are working to get people's money. I know. Same thing with my son's graduation. Is he in kindergarten as well? They called it a ceremony and no cap and gown. Oh, I remember like my kindergarten graduation like vividly. We had our little graduation, and then we went into our classroom with our families, had a little party. We all took pictures with our cap and gowns. I still have a few of those. Oh, he graduated from eighth grade and no eighth grade graduation. What? No cap and gown? I also remember my eighth grade one. What is happening? I get it. He just had his pre-K one, but still, what if some preschools don't do graduation and they just don't get either one? I wonder why they're doing it. Because parents are still going into the schools. Like at my school, parents aren't really allowed, but every now and then, if like a child is crying and stuff, we allow the parent to go in with them. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but in Noah's school, we're not allowed to go in at all. But for this ceremony, we'll be in there. I don't know. Jeez, this world is going to shit. <laughs> yeah, Matt. No kindergarten graduation. I had all that when I was younger, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they're doing it because of, like, it can't be because of COVID. Because we're all going in, like I said. We'll all be there. All they had to do was get the kids cap and gown. I don't get it. Yeah, I had a kindergarten graduation, eighth grade, and then my high school one, and then my college one. In my area, though, where I used to live, I, I'm like, I used to live a town over. Um, we went from kindergarten through eighth grade in one school, and then we moved over to the high school. But in this town, they do kindergarten through six, and then they have the middle school, and then they have the high school. So he's excited about that. Um, so last Sunday, it was my boyfriend's birthday. And we went to Brooklyn where one of his aunts live. And we get around over there through Subway because he used to live in Queens. He was born and raised over there in New York. And he moved to Jersey, I believe, when he was like 11. 
Um, so when we're like walking through, getting to, from one subway to another, I keep telling Noah, hold my hand, Noah. Hold my hand, Noah. Hold my hand, Noah. He keeps letting go, jumping, running around. And at one point, like, we we're walking straight. And at one point, my boyfriend was walking ahead of us. He turns one way and I go, whoop, to, like, go follow him. And people are still going down. Noah is not holding my hand. And he just keeps going straight. This was, like, literally a second. I walked maybe, like, five steps. And then I turned around and I noticed he wasn't there. But I saw him. He was, like, still walking straight. And then, like, that second that I turn around to look, he starts freaking out. He's like, mommy. Like, I've never heard him scream for mommy that loud. And everybody just, like, looked at him. And I was like, Noah, I'm right here. I was literally, like, maybe 20 feet away from him. But since it was, like, so busy, he just got disoriented, I guess. And he didn't see me. But I felt so bad for him. But at the same time, I'm like, no, I asked you to hold my hand a million times. This is what happens. But he was so disheveled, <laughs> my poor thing. Are you doing anything for him? We did. He wanted to go to his family's house, his aunt's house, and his mom was there. His cousins were there. I met his cousin's wife. And they cut a cake for him. We had food. He had a fun time. Carmen, as long as you know his social security number, he's working a legit job. Social security should be able to find where he's working. I do. I know his social by heart. And I gave it to them and nothing. I gave them his social. But nothing. I'm guessing that's how I got his income tax return because I gave them his social. There you go. Maybe he's working off the books. That's a possibility too. That's a possibility, which sucks because he's getting off the hook again. Maybe he left the country. No, he's here. I know for a fact he's here. Sorry, you definitely need to call back and ask for more info or something. Tell them they need to find out because you're not getting your money. All they tell me is that, like, he's getting a warrant. Like, a warrant is going to fix it. Because it's not. These people get arrested. They get out. They go back to hiding or doing whatever they were doing. They get arrested. Like, I've seen it happen firsthand. <sighs> I bet he was pissed when they took his money, though. Yeah, it wasn't that much, but still, it was something. I'm pretty sure he was mad about that. Mm. If he's working off the books, it has to be like a recent thing. Because if he did his taxes, that means he he worked legitimately. Should I be bothering the hell out of them until I start getting this money? Hey, you my God, so no child support? Nope. Hi, Brooklyn. How's your baby? 
Exactly. So they should know where he works if he did his taxes. Makes no sense. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. Has he contacted you about receiving that payment of his tax return? Nope. He has not. Zero contact. What are you guys doing for Father's Day this Sunday? I think my boyfriend works. I asked him if he's working. When is he off? And he's like, I think I'm off next week. So my guess is that he's working this Sunday. I don't know. I really don't know what to do for him. If he's at work. Maybe we can bake something for him. He likes it when I cook. I've barely been cooking because I'm so tired. Like, a few times a week, I get up at 4.45 to get ready to go to the gym. I'm there for an hour. I come back. I shower. I take a little nap. And then I'm back up at 7.25, get the kids ready. I'm out the door by 8.20, the latest. And then I work until 6, look for parking, which takes forever in my area. And then... Do my nighttime routine with the kids, and by 8 o'clock, it's just me. But that just means that I got to clean up and pick up after the kids and shower. So by the time I'm in bed, it's like 10-something, 11. He's good. He fight, He's five months old today already. Time has flown by. How's your baby girl? She's so good. She's getting such a personality. She just turned seven months on the ninth. Seven months, guys. That went by so quick. Um, She's just starting, like, I think I mentioned that she's been, like, pretty... I don't want to say delayed, but she hasn't been as fast as as the boys were. By four months, the boys were already rolling over. Five months, Blake was already, like, scooting and, like, trying to crawl. She's just starting to do that. Like, in order for her to get what she wants, like, I, I will put something at the end of, like, like, I'll have her here, and then I put something on the other side. And in order for her to get to it, she just flips back and forth. It's so funny. She flips, flips, flips. And until she flips over and grabs, gets to whatever she wants, then she flips back. But she's always hated, hated tummy time. She's still not too fond of it. Now she's like really pulling herself up during tummy time. And if she doesn't do that, she just falls asleep. She is a hungry baby. She loves her food. What else? She's starting to get a personality. Like, I have this bag that looks kind of like a fan those fanny packs that go across. And then it has, like, a tiny pouch. Almost like the Prada one. But mine is, like, the Steve Madden one. It has a black pouch and then a little tiny thing. And she, when I carry her, she likes to hold on to it. But the other day, she was trying to put it in her mouth. And it has a zipper. So I was like, no, mama. I was taking it away, and the moment I would take it away, she would start screaming and, like, go like this, ah! and I was like, excuse me, Miss Personality here. It's so cute, though. I mean, I don't want her to be all bratty and stuff, but it's cute that I see, like, a little personality peeking in. I go back to work in four months. I can't wait. I'm getting so bored at home and miss my coworkers. Oh, my goodness. You're so lucky. Take advantage of that, Brooklyn. Love on your baby. I wish I could have stayed home. But I was not getting much, so I had to go back to work fast. You hear the garbage truck? You guys always get me on here when the garbage truck is, like, passing. That's the city life here. My kids don't wake up with it. Like, nobody really acknowledges it. 
I only did right now because I'm talking to you guys and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Jeez, time is flying by. Oh, bless her. Every, every baby is different. My little girl wasn't rolling over at five months, but my son has been rolling over since he was four months. Don't worry, she'll catch up. I know. She's a little peanut. Like, the boys were so chunky at her age. Like, I I was looking at pictures, like, a day or two ago, and they were just so fat. <laughs> While she's, like, skinnier and a little longer at the same age. The boy's still doing good with her? Yes. Super, super good. They either don't pay attention to her most of the time, or when they do, they're so gentle and sweet. She's already getting sassy. Yep, that's how little girls are. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, she's sassy. But everyone's, like, obsessed with her. Every time I go into work with her, someone wants to take her away from my arms. And they're like, can I take her home? Literally, when I was leaving, every teacher, without knowing that the other one was saying this, they were like, can I take her home with me? I had, like, five teachers tell me that in a row in less than 20 minutes and they didn't know that they were all saying it to me i was like no she's mine she's so sweet very good baby rarely cries if she's crying it's because she's tired or hungry we have this new baby at the daycare and she cries all day like i feel horrible for her she'll eat and that's like the only time that she calms down but the entire day, she's crying and crying and crying. Like, she wants to be held the entire time. Or she just wants to sit on someone's lap, which I think they did with her. She's 13 or 14 months right now. But poor child. Like, And, of course, being around strangers, the older they get, the harder it is for them to be just thrown into a daycare setting and like it's all brand new it's scary new people little kids around you a lot of sounds so i get it but i feel so bad for this baby girl mm. shit my baby girl has been sassy since she was born Exactly the same with my son. He only cries when he's hungry or needs a nappy change. Such a good and easy baby. Good. That's good. My baby, I love her so much. She's been so easy. Such a blessing. She sleeps all night. Like, she's been asleep yeah. since 8 o'clock. And she's not going to wake up. Maybe she'll wake up at 11 just to have a bottle, but then she's out till like 6.30 or 7 o'clock, which is amazing. I have Davis here next to me. Hi, Carmen. How's the family? Everyone's good. How's summer break going? We're still not on break here. Kids are still in school till the 23rd. Mm, I bet you don't need to hold her bottles anymore. I don't. She's holding them on her own. Is it hers here? Yes, it is. This is what I meant. So I have this. It goes on like this. And then this little pouch just lands on my chest here. And she was just, she would grab this and try putting it in her mouth. And I would take it away. And she would be like, ah, and like screaming at me. Likely didn't sleep through the night or long periods of time for a while. Before you 
These are the boys. The boys didn't sleep till they were like nine months old. They were up every two to three hours. And even after the year, they were up at least once at night. No break yet? That's crazy. Not yet. I know in the south, like Florida, they're out by May. But no, we're out by June. The end of June. And our school is having our graduation next week. So next week should be crazy. We fly out to Portugal on the 28th of August. I'm counting down the days. Get me on that beach. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. She loves to smell my head. Well, anybody. That feels good. I'm not really into cats, but she's pretty cool. She's into her own world. She's so rough. I swear she's a dog inside. But that's it. She had enough. <laughs> Look what she did to me. I want to go on vacation so bad, but this car and insurance is killing me. I'm paying almost a thousand between car and insurance. Let me see. Almost 800 a month. It's too much, but I got to do it. <laughs> I do have some money saved up, but you just never know. But I really need a vacation. Yep, same with Blakely. Oh, yes, packing my bag. My cat says the same thing. Oh, my goodness, I was not expecting that cat to pop up. Sorry. Didn't know you had a pet. I have a cat and a dog. I'm frightened of cats. I've only had evil experiences with them. I can care less about them. And the only reason she's here is because she's his. Because if it's up to me, I wouldn't have pets. Not right now. Like, I would wait for all the kids to be bigger. And then get some, like, probably a dog. But we have him already and her. So I just gotta live with it. <laughs> oh my god, Carmen. What? You're driving now? I am. Wow, crazy expensive. Yep, new driver in the city. It's crazy. I thought you was planning on going away originally, Carmen. Mm. I had to get my passports. Mine, I had to renew mine, renew Noah's, and do one for Leia. So we did that last month. And mine should arrive any day now because I checked the status of it the other day and it said ship. And then I haven't checked the status for the kids, but right after I'm off of this live, I'll check. Oh. But it should be coming right after mine because it's been though. Let me see if I get it. It's been seven weeks, so it's taking some time because I helped my boyfriend do his. Like, I just made his appointment and stuff, and he went and did it, and he received his in, like, three weeks. I was shocked. So first we need our passports, and then I can plan trips. <laughs> Gotta have a dog, at least especially with kids. Congrats on driving. So proud of you. Thank you, Brooklyn. I'm not going to lie, I'm scared sometimes, but I'm getting so used to it. I actually got my car. I went to Pennsylvania to get it. So my um, my boss slash friend came with me. 
because her uncle knew some guy at the Toyota dealership and he helped us out. So we had to go all the way over there together, which was like two and a half hours away from here. Oh, and she was like, you have to drive your car out of here. I'm not going to drive your car. And I was like, but I haven't driven since it's been, it had been like six months since I last drove. And the driving that I did was like no more than 10 minutes in my area. And I went from that to her wanting me to drive on the freaking highway. <laughs> So I drove for like five to ten minutes and I was petrified because there were giant trucks next to me. And I I honestly, the experience that I have is it wasn't like anything. Like I should have had like months, I think, or a few weeks of experience before I, I should have gone on the highway. But I was like, I need to pull over. I can't do this. And <laughs> we just pulled over and we switched and she drove here. But ever since then, I've been driving my little car. I've been driving from here to work. I went to the mall. I've gone to Target. <laughs> um, I haven't gone really anywhere far. I do want to go to the beach when it gets really hot. And that'll be the real test because I would have to get on the parkway and drive about an hour and a half away. So we'll see. People are crazy in my area, though. Like, there's so many bicycles and scooters and people just jump in the street. I literally live in, like, such a congested city that I'm always, like, on high alert when I'm driving. So the kids, I'm always telling them, please be nice and quiet. No fighting, no screaming because I don't want to go crazy driving. And they're so excited about it, about the car. They're like, we're going in mommy's car. And as soon as we get in, Blake's like, can you play Sam Smith? He's so obsessed with Sam Smith. I got a RAV4. Damn, life's just so expensive. Now it is. Thousand for car insurance is insane. For the car and car insurance. I'm paying... Uh, a little over 700. So you never drove before this ever? Nope. Not really. I basically paid for classes last year. I did like four or six classes. I took my driver's test. I passed it. And after that, I passed it in June. After that, I drove maybe like four times and it was from work to home, work home. And that was it. And now I'm like driving on my own <laughs> with three kids in the back. I feel like when I have the three kids in the back, I'm a little more nervous because, of course, I have them to like watch out for. But when I'm driving by myself, I feel like a little more confident. But yeah, I want to go on hikes now. Because there's like a really nice trail that's like 30 minutes away. So I want to be able to do that. Happy for you. Thank you, Lorena. I'm 30 minutes from the beach. Lucky you. I used to work at a Toyota, those RAV4s are nice, especially those XSE hybrid. I saw one of those outside next to mine when I went to get mine. And those hybrid ones are so nice. But I got an XLE. You'll get the hang of it. Driving is the easiest thing. I've been driving since I was like 12 or 13. <laughs> Any tips for a first time driver <laughs> at 30, 31? Hi, yeah. I should have listened to my mom. My mom would always bug me, like, you need your license, you need your license, and I just never listened. My sister, who's younger than me, got her license at 16 and got her first car at 16, and I'm like, I wish I would have listened. Illegal, Matt. <laughs> One mile to the beach for me. I'm, like, over 30 miles away from the beach. 
just go with the flow. I know. I don't know if you guys hear it, but she's purring. She stopped as soon as I said that. Hmm. I was planning on showing you guys Alea, but she fell asleep like pretty early. I mean, she always does, but she was up a little longer, a little later than she usually is. So I was like, maybe I can put her in the live, but she fell asleep. Oh, sorry. Let me show you a picture of her though. I take pictures of her like every day. This is her eating like at seven o'clock. Mm. I put her on the little bean bag in school. She's so cute. She's still sticking her fingers in her mouth. I don't know if I told you guys this, but this is what she does. All the time. Then I take them out and then she just sticks them back in. Oh my gosh, she's too cute. Look at this. She's so adorable. <laughs> this one is my favorite. <laughs> all the bows and all the cute stuff that I wasn't able to do with the boys. She wears a bow every single day. I'm doing it. Got to take advantage. My friend took a picture of her for six months. Let me see if I find it. It was so cute. Here she is with her little, let's see. With her little Yankees outfit. <laughs> oh, here they are. Oh my goodness, halfway to one? I don't know if I showed you guys these pictures. She's too cute. Not like driving on main roads and stuff that young. I would take my parents' car when they went out on the weekends and drive around neighborhoods. Wow. Living on the edge. Damn, Matt. Good job. The police was never around. My daughter at 18 said I was going to drop her off at the university every day. I said, nope. Paid for driving school, and now she's 23 in grad school driving everywhere. That's the best thing you can do. That's what my mom did. She drove me to college right after high school. At 18, she was driving me to college every single morning. And when she couldn't, because I would have later classes, I would just take, I mean, I would take like two to three buses to get to school. It would take me over an hour to get there on bus. When a car ride could have been 25 to 30 minutes, I was just stubborn. And we live in the city, and there's transportation everywhere. 
But once you have kids, like, I can't be taking buses and trains and stuff with three kids. It's difficult. Me, by myself, I didn't mind at all. Yeah, I know. It would have sucked. I live in the Bay Area. First year of my license, I didn't bother with the freeway, folks. Can't drive out here. <laughs> Why didn't you get your drive your license and drive at 16 when you're allowed to start driving? I really don't know. Like I just said, we have a lot of transportation around us. I literally, from where I live now, I walk like a minute down the street and there's buses every two minutes. So they take you pretty far. They take you to as far as the city and back. So in this area, like, you can get around without a car easily. But like I said, now I have three kids. I have a whole family. I can't. It's not as easy. And we also have this thing where it's these trains. It's not like a big train. It's like those little trains that they go through the cities. Like, these go, like, right into the towns, like, by homes and stuff, and it's called the light rail. And if you look them up, they're, like, super quiet. It's not, like, those giant rail tracks from, like, the path trains and stuff. It's smaller. Um, Those take you to the mall. They take you by Target. Like, it's so easy. And I can catch one less than five minutes away. It's literally three blocks away from me. So, no. Yeah, no, I'm good. Don't like public transportation. I mean, if you're used to having a car since you're, like, 12, then, yeah, you don't need public transportation. And you're just used to being on your own in your car. What I don't like about this area is that now bikes are like, there's so many bikes and they just come down the wrong way and then they get in the way. Or it's a bunch of kids on bicycles or people on, there's so many people on electric scooters. It's insane. And they don't follow the rules at all. Especially for women and are alone and at night, especially got to watch out for the creeps. Seen a lot of YouTube videos about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, guys, I'm starting to get sleepy. I still got to clean up as usual. <laughs> so I'm about to log out of here. Next time I come on, I'm going to try to have her on. She's so cute. I don't want you guys to see her. Tomorrow, Noah has his party for school, his end of year party. Friday's his graduation. Sunday's Father's Day. And happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Just in case I don't get on, I don't think I'll be on before that. But have a happy Father's Day. Enjoy. Well, nice catching up. Have a great rest of your week and weekend. You too, Matt. Happy Father's Day. Have a good night, guys. Bye.